In this video, we're going to show you how to easily and effectively bleed non-ABS brakes, both single and dual disc. Hello everybody, I'm Robert with Hill Country Custom Cycles. and We just finished putting a set of our inch and a half uh, jar head bagger bars on this bike. I want to do a real quick video and show you how to bleed non-ABS brakes. We have another video for ABS. This is for non-ABS. It does apply to dual disc and single disc models, pretty much all Harley models. So check it out and we'll show you how it's done. All right, folks, so here it is, the secret sauce. A little syringe in a tube, no big deal. The problem with current methods of bleeding brakes is we're always trying to pour fluid in up here and then get it down here to the caliper and our bleeder screws right there. Well, you constantly have air that's trying to fight its way back up, and that's what makes it so difficult. What we do with this is we take and we attach it to our bleeder screw here, and we push fluid up. All right, so anything that has air in it, the air is just gonna naturally go to the surface and we're gonna push it all out. Now this being a dual disc model, it's a little bit more difficult, but not much. We're gonna take and do enough fluid to get about right here on this upper line, which is about 40 cc's. And then we're gonna go back over to the other caliper and do the same thing and then watch for fluid to come out of the master cylinder. And that should get 99% of the air out. Uh, if for whatever reason, it doesn't work out, you can still go the traditional way, you know, pump and bleed and have a buddy help you and all that. And you're not going to mess anything up, but doing it like this, I mean, literally less than five minutes, brake bleeding is done. Let's move on. So here we go. All right, so we got our syringe, brake fluid. We'll stick that in there and we're just going to draw it out. You don't have to get it all the way full, but and let's get some fluid in there. Take this out of there. We're gonna stick that right there. Try not to make a mess, especially if it's dot four. See, I got a little air bubble right there. We wanna get that out. We don't want that in the system. So, just tap it. Let it go ahead and get on up there. And get out of our system. I don't know if 40 is the exact number, but the point is we want to get one line filled up with no air in it and then come back and do the second line. And uh, that should push all the air out all the way to the master cylinder. Just start pushing. Keep your eyes out for any leaks that you may have. We'll stop it about right there. We're gonna go do the same thing on the other side. This part we want to get any last residual that may be in our bore. With the bike on the kickstand, we want to pump it a few times and just make sure all the residual air in the master cylinder bore is out. 